Hi, we are L1 and L2, your lung ambassadors. We are here today to learn about lung cancer, one of the most common cancers encountered in Singapore. We heard that prolonged coughing, shortness of breath, chest pain, coughing up blood, and wheezing are some symptoms of lung cancer. Is it true for all cases? The most common symptoms of lung cancer are chronic cough and breathlessness. Coughing up blood, fatigue, pain, loss of appetite, and loss of weight are also frequently encountered. However, many patients with early lung cancer may not have any symptoms, and thus, many lung cancer patients are diagnosed in the late stage when cancer cells have spread to the other parts of the body. I am a non-smoker. Does it mean I am safer and less prone to lung cancer? Cigarette smoking is the most common modifiable risk factor for lung cancer. The risk of lung cancer developing in a smoker is 15 to 25 times more than that for a non-smoker, and this risk increases with duration and quantity smoked. However, despite the strong association of smoking with lung cancer, nearly half of the lung cancer cases in Singapore occur in non-smokers. Is there a way to do early detection like a mammogram? The only recommended screening test for lung cancer is low-dose computed tomography, or LDCT. LDCT is a procedure that uses a computer linked to an X-ray machine that gives off a very low dose of radiation to make a series of detailed pictures of areas inside the body. Screening with low-dose computer tomography scan may allow us to detect abnormalities in the lungs that may be pre-cancer or early cancer. Screening of at-risk populations before symptom onset can enable improved treatment and survival outcomes, especially when lung cancer is detected at an early stage. The Lodo CT scan is a quick, painless, and non-invasive procedure. This type of CT scan does not require any oral or intravenous contrast agent. You may hear a whirling sound on the scanner as it rotates in spiral rotation around the area of the body being scanned. The table will slowly pass through the center of the CT machine and images of the lungs and surrounding organs in the chest are taken. During the scan, you may be asked to hold your breath to decrease the chance of blurring of images. Both ends of the machine are completely open and you will be able to see and hear the outside of the machine. The actual scan itself actually takes less than a minute to complete. You may go about your day normally after the Lodo CT scan is completed. What are the possible risks, discomfort or inconveniences arising from LDCT screening? Lung cancer screening carries several risks such as being exposed to low level of radiation which may increase the risk of cancer. However, compared to a conventional CT scan, the low-dose CT scan uses approximately five times less radiation. Undergoing follow-up tests. If your scan shows a suspicious spot in one of your lungs, you may need to undergo additional scans which expose you to more radiation or invasive tests such as a biopsy which may carry some risk associated with the procedure. If these additional tests show you do not have lung cancer, you may have been exposed to risks that you would otherwise have avoided if you did not undergo screening. Finding cancer that's too advanced to cure Cancer that have spread may not respond well to treatment, so finding these cancers on a lung cancer screening test might or might not improve or extend your life. Finding cancer that may never hurt you. Some lung cancers grow slow and may never cause symptoms or harm. It is difficult to know which cancers will never grow to hurt you and which ones must be removed quickly to avoid harm. If you are diagnosed with lung cancer, your doctor will likely recommend treatment. Treatment for cancers that would have remained small and confined for the rest of your life may not help you and may be unnecessary. Missing cancers. It is possible that lung cancer may be obscured or missed on your lung cancer screening test. In these cases, your results may indicate that you do not have lung cancer when you actually do. Finding other health problems. You will receive a low-dose computer tomography scan of the chest for lung cancer screening. 
and other than suspected lung nodules, the heart and any adjacent organs are also imaged. If your doctor finds another health problem on the scan, you may undergo further testing and possibly invasive treatments that would not have been pursued if you had not had lung cancer screening. What are the possible outcomes of the screening and what happens after? Lung cancer screening results can broadly include no abnormalities discovered. If no abnormalities are discovered on the low-dose CT chest scan, you may consider continuing screening scans until you and your doctor determine they are unlikely to offer a benefit, such as if you develop other serious health problems. There can also be lung nodules detected. Lung cancer may appear as a small spot in the lungs. Unfortunately, many other lung conditions look the same, including scars from lung infections and benign growths. Most small nodules do not require immediate action and will be monitored at your next low-dose CT screening. In some situations, the results may suggest the need for another low-dose CT in a few months to see if the lung nodule grows. Growing nodules are more likely to be cancerous. A large nodule is more likely to be cancerous. For that reason, your doctor or a lung specialist may recommend additional tests such as a biopsy or for additional imaging tests such as a positron emission tomography scan. Your lung cancer screening test may detect other conditions of the lungs, heart and other adjacent organs that may be common in people of an age group or who have smoked for a long time. Mine was an accidental discovery after I lost my voice. I was asked to take an MRI and CD scan from my throat down. The only thing was discovered at the time was only a small little dot on my right lung at 0.7 cm. After a year, that has grown or enlarged slightly to 0.9. That's where the cost for further action. Early detection saves life. The current local guidelines for lung cancer screening recommend annual low-dose CT scans for smokers aged 55 to 74 years while a family history of lung cancer has been associated with a higher risk of developing the disease, the role of low-dose CT screening in non-smokers with positive family history is an area of ongoing research with no formal recommendations available. We urge you to get screened today. The best time to screen is when you're still fine.